Live from a little corner of Austin. <laughs> Opium dens, dark rooms, and stringing lights are confused for Scoop Fest. It's going to be a great night. Now, come play Mario Kart and watch that great new series, Elijah One, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm Brian oh, Br- Brushwood. Br- Br- Brian Brushwood. It's I'm, good. To, yes. I'm Brian Brushwood. Yeah, thank you for, for moving the appointment because yeah. we, we couldn't do it last week. Sorry. Because of uh, uh, the rain. I didn't want to be around the rain. Well, too bad. I'm here now. I'm yeah. Brian Brushwood and I'm very impatient. Yes, I, I, I know. But uh, listen, I'm here. To do the thing we talked about. I'm here Gordon. to install gutters. Good. You need to install my gutters. Post haste. I'm yeah, Brian yeah, Brushwood. Uh, well, okay, but here's the thing, though. I don't yep. I don't install gutters or make uh, estimates uh, for free or otherwise in the rain. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I don't do it. Well, I mean, it's like a religious thing. Uh, you know what? Let's get into your roofing. All right, all come right, over yeah, here, yeah, hey, Mr. Hey, Brushwood. Look at, look at, I, yeah, I need you to I'm take Mr. a look. Brushwood. All, all right, look, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, what? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm thinking about there. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Right there. The roof. Right, I want, right, uh, right, the right roof. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where you want them. I do. You call me out here. Yes. For there. For that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's take a look around. Let's take a look around. Let's oh, take a look around. around. What? Gonna walk around. I need you to fix the fucking roof. Uh, wait. Oh dear. What? Oh dear. What? I mean, I just got. To, I mean, clearly, this is the problem area you called me the gutter expert about. So I pointed to the roof. Yeah. You said I'm not interested in that. You bring me to another place. And yeah. You're saying that this is the problem. Place. Yeah. So uh, what are you gonna do about that? <laughs> What am I going to do about what? I mean, yeah, because look at it. Is it fucking haunted? I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> is, there, is, there, is there bats in the belfry? I don't know what the fuck's going on. I mean, look at that. You're going to need at least something. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to sell me something, mister? No, I mean, I got, look, look. I'm the gutter, gutter expert. Man. I'm the gutter man. Yeah. I give free estimates. I come out to your property yeah. right here. And, and and when you point to a thing like that, yeah, I I just gotta explain to you, you've got work to do. So you want me to hire you? Uh, well, I mean, I'll do my part, but but uh... <laughs> for what? For Christ? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to fix my gutter, so you're okay, pointing but, out I mean, a problem I mean, about my gutter. Help me out here. Which yeah. side seems higher to you? <laughs> the one I, uh, whatever the problem I called you for, <laughs> I want you to solve. Yeah, but I mean, like. You think that side's higher, <laughs> <laughs> or do you think the other side is higher? Because what I'm wondering, I'll tell you what, I, I know which side of this conversation I want to be higher <laughs> because you are trying my last fucking nerve. Well, I'm just wondering which way the water's gonna go, right? Okay, sure. <laughs> Literal know? fucking conversation I had this morning <laughs> with a goddamn gutter professional who fucking told me all the things I needed to do and then asked me my expert advice on what direction. I was like, I was like, oh, you want to know which way the water goes? Yes, I do. He was like, well, maybe, you know, it was raining last week when you canceled on me. Maybe that would have been a good fucking time to, to find out which way the water goes. So it sounds yeah. to me like maybe what I should do is take a picture of which way the water goes. Goes, you know that you say that would be a really a really good idea. I think you should do that. Thanks. And scene. No. Scene. No. Scene. I wish. I wish. Take a bow. Did you have more? What else? Happened? It, it was more in the same vein for uh, you're just <laughs> ninety for fucking infinite. minutes. Yeah, for an infinite. Amount At some of time. point, I said, "Well, it looks like you've got a lot of work to do, and I'm going to go to the restroom." Yeah. And I went to the restroom, and then I walked That's out and saw point. I'm still out there, so I hid in here, right where you're standing, <laughs> just to be away from this man. Yes, because who does that? Who says, "Hello, it's me, the guy who installs gutters and is willing to give you an estimate"? The estimate being the amount of your time I'm going to waste while I ask you to give me advice. You know, I've been in this business 31 years. Maybe he's lonely. I you think about that? Oh. I actually think that's exactly what it was. He was just like, he was a little God lonely. Damn it. All right. He has one appointment and he's like, well, 
I guess I better stretch this one out. You didn't have to fuck with me, though. Uh, why, 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 why did he? Hey, he, he literally I'm sure, I'm, mocked. I'm sure, I'm sure he said he was right in his car about it, but he's like, Jerry, don't fuck with this guy. <laughs> Just genuinely make an impression. I'm, I'm I'll like bet you he'll I'm, be I'm your ser- best friend. I'm this close to giving out his phone number oh, on the air. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, well, considering so anyway, I want to, your week. <laughs> I'm lonely. So what say we bring a friend up here on stage with us? Uh, indeed we can. Ladies and gentlemen, live and direct across the pond. It is your friend, my friend, the world's friend, the OG Brita, Will Harris! Grab that microphone. While you're over there, I don't know, I guess maybe fix my house. Uh, gutters. Gutters. <laughs> By the it's way, like, while like, while like, uh, uh, while while he's getting his Will, his shit set up, bring the mic over. Let me just let me let me let me just show this to the camera right now. Clip this out for uh, uh, Ice Cream Social. Uh, I'm just so excited to be back in a town of beautiful, honest people like Austin, Texas. Yeah. yeah. Instead of the shithole Las Vegas, wow. where we defeated. The fucking scoops yet again. I want to be in, in a your town face. where you could call a gutter installer for an estimate and he asks you how hard you're willing to work. Exactly. That, that's what we want. That's, no. what we, that's what we celebrate here. Sorry. In Austin. Yes, apparently so. Yes. So, anyway, fuck uh, 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 the scoops. We won. We love you. That's right. We love you. That's right. And, you and you're going to see it all well, next week. I may be a bit triggered right now. We're gonna have to take this easy. We're gonna take, we're gonna ease into it. Uh, here, do me a favor, Will. Uh, scoot in just just a, just a tad more. Perfect. Uh, uh, all right. So you have been in America for how long? That's the sound of how many <laughs> drinks he's had in America. Of, if if it is three that. drinks per second. Yep. I have been in America for nine days. Nine fucking days. And how long are you here for? Uh, in total? Uh, I guess 14 of your American days. <laughs> sure. <laughs> how, how is an American day different from a, a b- British one? Well, it's measured in different hours. Yes. Yeah. So in England, we have days that start and end at different hours. Right. And in England, in America, you have days that start and end at different hours. So technically, I could be like fourteen or fifteen days, depending on how you measured the hours. Okay. What what hours did they start out there in jolly old England? I mean, like eleven. <laughs> eleven. 10, 11 like what? What? It's, it's, eleven? What? What? In the like morning 10, or ten thirty in the morning? Nobody wants a on day a thirty. To, <laughs> nobody wants to start between like before eleven thirty. So if you were to go down to the tube. The tube. Uh, 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 the tube. At, at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Fucking bone dry. Not not a soul down there. Well, Justin, your mistake is thinking that I would ever go down to the tube. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good point. Wait, what was your famous rich person's mailing list? <laughs> <laughs> there was a great uh, mailing list. I'll uh, give it a free plug. Okay. A- a- HP Compact. It is, it is called Radio uh, Dash HP. Right, gotcha. and it is basically uh, Craigslist only- for um, rich upper class people in London. There we go. Okay, uh, uh, so that's when that's when they. Oh shit, that's a nice website. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. It's a fucking peacock on it. How for the usual price for the usual <laughs> price. Uh, uh, Will, would you like to do the A block with us? I would love to do the A block with you. Guys. Price first topic. Brett's bet. I made so much money. Well, I mean, hold on. We'll, wow. we'll, we'll reveal. I we'll so reveal happy that you guys made me so much money. We will, you we saw will a reveal. lot of action. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. You did. So, uh, 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 full disclosure for both or two of the topics that we're gonna talk about. We will have video of this on our YouTube channel, right. which is what Bryce. Uh, uh, ooh, good question. I believe it's watch.greatnight.tv. Uh, or maybe watch greatnight.com. Just look up Great Night on YouTube. You'll find us. Great Night on YouTube. Go ahead and find us. Make sure you subscribe because uh, we're going to have uh, a lot of supplemental stuff. So, uh, Brett, can you reset what you are, uh, what you understood of our bet last week? My expectation yes. was that Brian was yes. going to take $100. Yes. He was going to go to the roulette table, put it on red. Yep. yep. 
whatever comes out of that, then he's going to go over to the blackjack table. Yep. Right? Play one sensible hand of blackjack. Of blackjack. I don't yep. remember the word sensible, but well, let's roll know, with that. I yeah. hear things the way I hear them. And uh, then he was going to take those fantastic winnings. If, if, if there was winnings, no, then, he, yeah. there was going to be were going to be winnings. And yep. uh, take that over to the high stakes slot machine, mm -hmm. put it all in, and do one pull. And man, I'm expecting nothing but greatness. This is uh, going to be fantastic. I don't know. Do we have the audio to play or do we just relive the moment? No, no, no. no. We're, we're going to relive the moment and then everybody's going to find the actual uh, uh, footage on. On YouTube. So we got the money. Yep. Money, money. Uh, not from Brett, but money was found. Our our money. Yep. That at, price this point, at this point, uh, how much combined are here? If we both say how much we estimated we had lost gambling uh, uh, at the point that this sure, happened. Sure, sure. We say it at the same okay, time. Ready? Three. This sounds great. Two. This is all good news. One. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> Difference of estimates. That's fine. That's fine. Sure. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, if hundred dollars, I mean, yeah, is found in my wallet and uh -huh. it goes to the roulette, roulette table yep. on the red. Uh, uh, at which point it ends up black. End of story. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Turns out it was a dumb bet. It was a bad bet. It was a dumb bet. Not a joke. You it was over very quickly. It was yeah. over like. <laughs> It's a very anticlimactic video. It took them longer like, to tell me you can't film there than it did for us to place or I believe exactly. that. Yeah. yeah. Because I said black and he goes, no, red. And I was like, okay, red. Definitely red then, Brian. Did Thank you, you Brian. lose him all that money? Yep. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, that, uh, that's how I remember Somebody it. go back to the episode. Yep. Pull the, pull the clip. Let, yeah. let, let, well, let's it, see whether or not it's real. As an impartial observer. Yes. It just sounds and by, like by impartial you mean you were not even partially there. <laughs> you were not there at all. It sounds like you made a bet. Yes. Then very quickly lost it. Yes. Yeah. And then decided to make an entire A block about it. No. Uh, yes. No. <laughs> a block is just on this. I mean, how else Absolutely. are we going to deduct it? <laughs> yeah. Come Let's tax talk season. Three more minutes about that. That's fantastic. That's tax deductible. You can claim that back on your IRS, right? Can you do that in England? What? We like, like, like take shit off losses? Your taxes for 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 doing dumb shit, telling stories about it. Oh man, I've taken so much dumb shit off my taxes. Yeah. Go on. Name them all <laughs> in chronological order, please. <laughs> Two peacocks. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you the usual price. Price. Dinner, dinner for a 61 year old woman <laughs> Bryce next topic <laughs> Shave Justin Yeah people were saying There's something different about you I don't I don't really see it I'll tell you what it is my, my fucking head's cold Oh I got a cold head man I, oh, My head oh, my oh, head is cold shaved blooded. I, have, I have a shaved head now uh, uh, and I, I did that in Vegas. You did it uh, out of naked jealousy for, for Brett. Brett. Yep. Mostly yeah. because uh, I was so, so, so entirely jealous of the fact that he had a an amazing bald nice. look. Nice. Uh, I was like, I can't allow this to stand. I need to immediately take yep. any attention from him. Brett, on a and scale so of one to ten, how flattered thing. were you? Uh, by this? I mean, EK was pointing out that it was probably just us trying to. Wait, uh, wait, 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 him, wait, uh, you uh, can just give me a direct number. Uh, scale one to ten, how flattered? Super uh, flattered? I'm super flattered. One, one his peacocks. hair is gorgeous. Yeah, it, yeah, it'll never come back. So okay. I mean, it's no. super gorgeous. No, yeah, I think I think it'll be like this forever. So, uh, uh, all right, uh, uh, semi serious sojourn. I get an email, or sorry, a text message from my mom on Thursday night while we're in Vegas, and uh, she has a bald head because she is going through chemo. It's preventative. Please, I thank you to everybody for their well wishes that came in from social media. Uh, but she is doing totally fine. What she does want me to say is for any woman listening, please check both your chest and your breast when you are checking for lumps. It was on her chest. That is uh, where she found the lump. It was taken away. It was non-cancerous. But unfortunately for her, the levels of whatever they checked for uh, was a little bit on the high side. And so they're doing preventative chemo for which she was mostly annoyed that she was going to lose her hair. So I told her, hey, I will also shave my head when you shave yours. The text I got on Thursday was her bald head and just the two words, your turn. 
Which, by the way, I would understand a little bit better if she didn't look fucking fabulous with a shaved head. It's it's like she looks she looks amazing. We have good shaved like, heads. We have good shaved heads in well, this family. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, it sounds like Brian's saying that your mom looks good with a shaved head. Fair point. But Fair we point. haven't we haven't passed judgment on your shaved head. The the the, the results are out on my peanut uh, uh, attached to this a uh, 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 very thin neck. but I but I have an I have an element of I know this is coming for me because there's the um not in a not in a medical kind of way but in a um genetic kind of way I guess your hairline comes from your mother's father is the way it comes down that, yeah that's right? baldness that, that's, yeah that's colloquial but that motherfucker had like a big horseshoe so I have, oh, I have, really? I have, I have, I've kept a, a, a forward attack in, 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 in the battle that every man watches. Whereas, whereas I just know, I saw my, I saw my father at the weekend. I saw his brother the weekend after, uh, and I just know that I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm really, really, really fucked. So my so, whole, my whole goal is just by the time I get to like 40, 41, I've got to be ripped enough to just be able to, to pull it off to do it yeah and look like uh look like bruce willis not kevin smith no who's yes <laughs> no, who's yeah. the, who's no no, the no I, th I think you nailed it uh no. you want to look like bruce who's willis the, and not kevin, kevin smith who's the kevin kevin james. kevin james yeah i've got to do i've got to do bruce willis not kevin james so that's my that's my goal but <laughs> kevin james really cool. always had a beautiful wife so he did there he you fucked go. well well thanks for rubbing my divorce in my face oh wow uh anyway so uh, uh, the next day, I decide uh, is is indeed my turn, and Brian it was easy, smooth like butter, smooth sailing, super you're see, easy. You're going to see we the entire up. the entire we, we wake up, we're like the sun's coming. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta rewind just a yeah. touch. Yeah, yeah, because as soon as I got the news, yeah, there was a very bold exclamation. Of solidarity. Yep. From my co-host. Yep. By Ryan bold. Rushwood. Yep. By uh, bold. He 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 fucking so we're having a serious conversation about serious. fucking parents and mortality yep. and everything. And he goes, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna shave my head. I'm gonna shave my hand. Yeah. Says the guy who wears a hat all the time. Yep. You're so like, I, you're I like, think you're like fairly low stakes. Hat summer. Is in the building. Hat, like, hat what? Six weeks? Yep. <laughs> like, how long could this last? Hot no boy hat deal? summer. No yeah. big deal. Yeah. Uh, Bonnie, what happened? Uh, Bonnie said, uh, nope. <laughs> Ran uh, it up the flagpole and uh, pulled down a note. Nope. I, I, I believe the exact text exchange went along the lines of, uh, uh, oh, uh, Justin's mom's prognosis is good. To which Bonnie replies, that's great. Yours is not if you shave your head. <laughs> so I did not. So uh, 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 I do have a crew. Corey and uh, Brian and Bryce uh, come with me. We go to the the Orleans barber. Yep. And how would how would you describe the Orleans barber? Okay. Well, first of all, it was news to Justin that there was an Orleans barber, and yep. so we go down. And there's a guy who is, uh, I, I believe, playing uh, 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 Hearthstone. And, uh, and we're like, hello, uh, are you open? Yes. Um, can we shave a head? Uh, and, 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 and he's like... Uh, he's by, by himself. Like, there's literally nobody around. It is just him in his little, like, uh, casino barber shop fucking around. Uh, Brian, super helpful. His mom has, is doing chemotherapy. As a show of solidarity, just whoop, just whoop. Maybe you could whoop. And he says, sorry, sorry, I didn't catch that. What was it? No. What he said was, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, my son will be here in an hour. And I was like, uh, oh, and then, and he can shave your head. Does he, does he have cancer? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, so, 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 uh, to which I ask, uh, well, what about you? I'm busy. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. And so that was pretty much it. Like, I think we, we all felt a little annoyed that this dude who was clearly not doing shit 
Uh, didn't want to shave my head. So we're like, fuck it. I looked it up on the internet. There's literally a, a barbershop right across the street. Across the street. We're going to walk right across the street. Yeah, let's go. So we do. And it's closed. <laughs> it's by appointment only. And it is closed. So you look across the street, Brian, and you see what? I Well, I see a place. I'm trying to think to myself, okay, what do we need? All we really need is some kind of trimming thing and somebody who's able to trim things. And, You're manifesting. Uh, You're well, bringing the universe down to you. I'm thinking in gig mode is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking yeah. like all we need is this Something's dude's hair to be gone yeah. and we can be there. And I look over and what do I see? A titty bar. And I think to myself, titty bar. So what do they got? They got, uh, they got titties and pussies and... They're probably <laughs> trimming the pussies. There's probably pussy trimmers. There's probably people who have the titties and the pussies. Let's just head on in and... Wait, are people in the pussies or they have the titties in the pussy? I mean, they, 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 the pussy. they are. The pussy. This is the mind-blowing part. They are all three. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, but, but, but the important thing is we go over and not seeing anyone there, I bravely... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get to the walking over there, Brian's bold declaration... And I cannot recommend you finding Great Night on YouTube enough as you like watch all of this in our own words. Brian's bold declaration is there's got to be a stripper with a pussy trim that'll shave your head. Yeah. Which, by the way, that's, a, that's like a bold declaration of, I gotta believe this air is suitable to breathe. What moment of being at a titty bar... Have you like had where it was appropriate for you to say, could you shave my, could you go backstage and shave my head? It's like the declaration is like number one, motherfuckers, titty people love money. Fact number two, they're all shaving their pussies. Uh, uh, supposition number three, they probably got pussy shaving shit back there and you can exchange money for goods and services. It's Vegas. I hold these truths to be self-evident that all pussies are shaved equal. All right, all right. <laughs> also, so I would have bet on black. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I'm like, oh, Brick. I won? So I, yeah. I didn't know if that was a conflation. No. Two stories. It was. Uh, uh, so Jeez. we go to the Diddy Bar. Guess what? Fucking closed. Also, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. So here we go. This is clips if you are watching live. There are, yes. there are clips in the video. You're going to be able to see the whole video uh, very, very soon. Uh, holy shit, my back looks great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, of course. Uh, so then uh, we finally decide after a few brief uh, uh, thoughts that will just go up to yes, uh, we, uh, the room we, and you we, will shave my head uh uh, uh oh i don't i did, did i i don't know you that we offered. ever got that uh, i did you offer offered. i you did offered. offer i'll offer it right now well, i mean fucking not doing much jesus yeah. uh so at that point we figure out a place to go and price if you can actually just bring up video of this place it is flo's barbershop in las vegas Shout i out. cannot recommend it Shout highly out. enough it is a fucking Latin ass barbershop. We walk in, reggaeton is playing. Every single, uh, uh, every single station has a selfie ring and a phone attachment. So I heard you can. I heard nary a word in English the entire stage. No, no. And so this this a uh, 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 fine uh, uh, Dominican man, based on the flag that he had on his station, uh, uh, just. Totally took everything off my dome, which uh, at, at some of the pictures that you were going to see, uh, the fucking pile of hair looked like several animals fucking. It definitely like, uh, uh, like uh, it looked like our, our long gone uh, Ginny the guinea pig is what it looked like. There we it go. It was amazing. But look at the Gucci robe. The guy's got you in a Gucci robe. With, okay. with, with a. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. But, but, but Gucci, also with Gucci, a coral Gucci, steak Gucci. on there. Yes. Yeah, there was a coral snake on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, got my fucking, uh, uh, my, my beard lined up, got my beard trim, nose hairs, eyebrows. He fucking uh, straight razored my head. Uh, it was, it was, it was pretty amazing. So again, one more time, shout out to Flo's Barber. Uh, but that's, that's the story right there. Look at my fucking super shaved dome as uh, uh, that was the end of that adventure. You're not as, in as intimidating as me. Nowhere mm. near. Nope. Nowhere near. You look like a bartender. Uh, or, or a bouncer, I look like a real estate agent from Miami. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get you a great deal that on this fair. Kendall Ranch house. That is fair. Uh, 
I just thought of a lot of mean things to say. Hey, who wants to support <laughs> this show? Wait, we have more. Oh, 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 oh do you want to do the, the, no, the plug now and then but, do more uh, A block? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, Patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go right now to uh, get on our, our, our Patreon level. Uh, you can get, get your own RSS up feed. To 75. It's up to 75. 75 what? I mean, I mean, I mean, 75 pieces of content, baby. 70 uh, up up to up to i mean at most we we draw, we the, draw line. the line at 75, 75 pieces of content 75 that's over the line that's what we say it's Tweets actually 74 count. uh yeah. so uh, uh yeah no so go ahead on over there uh you get our bonus episodes which come out uh, every thursday and the most recent bonus episode recorded live on a plane uh yes uh, uh, uh how do you think that went over justin Fucking amazing. I was emailing back and forth with uh, Wendy, the flight attendant, who took our picture. Well, the flight attendant looked like she loved you guys. She I was following your Twitter, and it was like, oh, here's this flight attendant. I mean, wants, she could only afford two peacocks, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, I mean, she was she was uh, fine. Uh, uh, Bryce, if you can go to my Instagram, my, my, my Instagram has the, the picture that she took because we were recording... And by the way, uh, if there's ever like, uh, on the one hand, you want to be flattered, but when you see three guys looking like this, what else are you going to say except for, are you guys podcasting? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was exactly true. The photo bomb in the back. It's either that or committing a crime. Uh, that was a very squirrely 40 minutes. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce was was, I was less than aisle. comfortable. I was in the aisle, and I was like trying to have my back to the aisle so that people wouldn't notice me. But. Dude, I was just, I was too busy hearing about the plot of the Langoliers as oh, described yeah, by sorry. Justin Robert Young. We spoil the Langoliers, the Stephen King book and movie. I I spoil it. Well, yeah. Cap Captain Jack says motherfucking podcast on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, she was a uh, 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 great, both of the flight attendants. In fact, we delighted both flight attendants so much that one of, one of them took one our of them picture. One of them, like, force fed us booze. And the was other just one, like, another round? We all say no. And she's like, I think you need I another think round. I need another <laughs> round. And we're like, we do. And she fucking bought it for us. That's the first time uh, uh, I can remember. <laughs> yeah. There's some side eye. I know the people behind us were trying to sleep. Can I? Can I? Can I add what I think that guy is thinking right now? Yeah, it's this. We put it up. Yeah. These fucking guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although he also then found out the end to the Langoliers, so you know, I feel like we would count each other. Equal. Also, he didn't realize that it was actually a time traveling adventure, and it was actually Justin from the twenty four hours in the future. Yes. Oh, this was past. Justin. Oh. Yeah. Right. I, I, after after I missed my flight back from Vegas. <laughs> That's a another, story for another, another day. Another hey. fun true story. <laughs> uh, uh, Bryce, next topic. Will's secret for photos. Secret, secret. He's got four secrets. Uh, we get to Vegas, to and uh, I, I I didn't know whether or not we were going to catch you uh, because there was a, a an initial thought that you were going to be out before we got there. Thankfully, you were not uh, leaving, and so. You, uh, we met at the Orleans, and then uh, that's that seems like it's true. Uh, it is. <laughs> I am receiving context, yeah, to this moment now. And so I text you, and I'm like, Are you, are you in Vegas yet? Yeah, and you're like, Yeah, we're at the Orleans, yes. And I'm like, Well, you're not on the strip, and you weren't either, you were downtown. <laughs> downtown. <laughs> 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 what a great response could you imagine you're like at work you're like your quarterly reports are late <laughs> I, I, no because you uh, rolled into the I, Orleans I see, I see you're not wearing your uniform again <laughs> <laughs> so you, rolled, you rolled in and you were just like, like this was the best thing ever like people jumped on top of me and I was like like I like like, like uh, you, you were dancing people and then and, and they jumped and they were standing on my shoulders and is, now I'm here is I'm that, Will Harris that's exactly, is that that's your exa impression no, of me no, that's an accurate reflection of, of you so that was I actually some to, audio so I was staying, he left out most of the racism 10 out of 10 <laughs> no notes so I was staying for the record at the stratosphere which is on the strip 
and I was staying there because they mean, cause, barely because they'd had a refurb and the refurb made it like you know nice. They were in the middle of having some yes. refurb madness, right? Uh, so I'd gone to downtown. I'd done this crazy thing where, uh, you know, you get I had to deal with the gutter guy. Yeah, I've earned this. <laughs> you got, yeah, you got threw up by Mr. Gutter. You had to, you know, you go downtown and there's the people who are like dancing and doing their shit. Homeless people. And I, <laughs> and I was part of a, I well, then a homeless a gang. dance troupe. Yes. And so I'm like, people are dancing and they're jumping and I'm like, and they're jumping off my shoulders. And I'm like, amazing. Yeah. And then just so literally goes, Where exactly, are exactly what I just said. <laughs> exactly. Literally exactly what I just said in the exact it was just an total echo. tone of voice. But except he's a lot more uh, energetic and excited because we're seeing each other for the first time in a few years. Because I'm excited because uh, I have been stranded in the UK for... The best part of two and a half years. Yep. And the last time I saw uh, these guys was October 2019. When you yep. announced that, hey, I don't know if I'm about to be trapped in my house, but I am buying the largest television screen I can find. Correct. Uh, so I did that, and then it turns out I was trapped in my house, and buying the largest television screen I could find was a great idea. <laughs> uh, so, so we meet up with Justin. Yep. In Orleans, and uh, uh, we are about to leave for uh, the Scoops uh, Fest VIP event. Correct. At which point, uh, we hang out. We have a good time. Uh, uh, Jacob, because he's a lunatic and it's his house that this is all at, decides to only feed people in the Las Vegas Sun whiskey punch. Oh, no. He has four yes. different whiskey punches. Oh, no. And it's only because I they know where he keeps his beer in his physical house that I'm able to go raid his beer fridge. There is not a single cloud as far as the eye can oh, see. No. It no, is nothing hot but white hot sunlight baking down on all of us. It is it is hot as as your Vegas shaven balls. Yes. That's a that's a bit. <laughs> they are pretty hot. So, look, okay, okay, no, no, you're track, not going to see them shaving the balls in track, the long. Track. Number one, I'm not familiar with the metric system, but that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, so here's what needs to happen from here. So everybody understands the context of the first photo that will being somebody that's been on the Internet for a long time, uh, has some people come up to him and is taking pictures of people. So uh, what I need you to do, Will, is go from here all the way over to Brett Station. Waving at you. Downstage. Hello. Uh, and I need you to show uh, uh, the first photo just so first Brett. First of four. The first of four photos that, that Brett can explain. Should I hold on to it and, and, and then he go back to the mic? Uh, okay. Sure. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Brett, yeah. what are you seeing? I'm seeing uh, two gentlemen. Standing next to each other, mouths agape, in yeah. a uh, in a celebratory, excited situation. So what it looks like is it looks like um, I'm at a party. Yeah, yeah, which you are, uh, which I am. Yep, uh, I've very kindly been invited to it by Justin. Yes, yeah, on behalf of the scoops, folks. So in other yep. words, you're crashing. He's a value add. He's, He's a value add. Unexpected okay. value okay. add. Okay. An unexpected yeah, yeah. Nobody value Nobody gets add. mad when Santa Claus shows up to a party. Exactly. Nobody gets mad with a value add. Jack wax. Cross, that uh, fucker. Now, now, let me ask you this question. How many minutes would you estimate the second photo is from the first photo? How many minutes? Uh, so I meet you guys. Yeah. We have some barbecue. Yeah. yeah. It's very lovely barbecue. The guys from Ice Cream Social are like... Lovely, lovely Oh my party. God, the best hosts in the world. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but I'm like, I don't actually know any of these people. Did, did sure, you, did you sure. find yourself like doing them the favor of kind of like looking past as though you didn't hear them ask to compare this barbecue to the barbecue from Austin? Like, uh, like... There's like some part of me that wanted to think that that's what they were saying, but mm. the bigger part of me was like, well, I, I, mostly, I think I didn't I hear that. I mostly tried to not make eye contact. So I'm, so I have a great night. So I'm a great um, afternoon at the ice cream social. Right. Uh, but, but, there's but some you, great you, food, but I, I, you, you know what? I'm, a, I'm an introvert. You are. I'm an introvert at heart. 
And so I was like, I've met all the people that I can really meet yeah, on a social yeah. level. So that's what? That's Justin, Brian, Mikey. Mike, Mikey, I accidentally threw beans over Mikey. You know, the wind, the wind threw beans on Mikey, but it looked like you did. Which was really awkward. It looked like I got up from a table and just <laughs> flung, smashed flung a plate beans of beans Mikey onto knew. Mikey. Yeah. But in fact, it was the wind. Um, Do you know I, how many people would pay money for that the <laughs> opportunity to, 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 to just fling beans at my so, hold on. So, so, so in minutes from the moment that photo was taken to the moment the next photo we're about to make Brett see is taken, how many minutes? I would say, what, an hour and a half? No. Two? Let's say maybe 45. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Uh, Brett, can you scroll to the next photo? Going this way, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is different? What's different is uh uh the company is Ms. different. Mr. Will Can we uh, get can we get Brett's face up on Mr. the on the Will camera? Is uh uh in a happy uh uh, uh describing graphic detail in graphic detail. There's a titty out right <laughs> female titty <laughs> Not to be confused with snitties, right. but uh, there's uh, there's some tattoos happening. There's a uh, there's a gold tooth uh, <laughs> on display. There's some nice rings, but there's a titty. Wait, hang on. Now I got it. All right. Now Brian's going to take a look at the photo. Okay. There is. Yeah. <laughs> be careful about where you point that phone. We're not going to share these right. photos. No, no, wait, Let me wait, show my wife. Wait, 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 what you're leaving out yes. is is the bemused like, well, what have we here? <laughs> Look, what on is this Will's brushing face. my cheek? <laughs> mm. uh, Will, where'd you go? You don't need to name the physical place, but like in general. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, just tell in, us whether or not Justin could have shaved his head there. No, <laughs> like industrial. Industrial. An industrial. Strip in the, club. In the road. Yes. Oh, oh, on industrial, industrial road. Industrial is a road in Vegas. Gotcha. Got it. And there was a and a, a long industrial <laughs> is there's a lot of gentlemen's clubs. Right. Gentlemen's clubs. Okay, I just realized or that gentlemen. we're on photo number two of four. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I I hope this doesn't so, get too dark. So I <laughs> so I'm having a I ha so don't get me wrong. Sure. Uh <laughs> I'm getting you wrong. Uh, okay. Okay. I've had a great if I, afternoon. If I were to you. get you wrong, I would think you're at the library yeah. at this part of the story. <laughs> but and you're very interested very in the Dewey Decimal System. Yep. I mean, point by point, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so we do. So I've done the scoops, which is amazing. I leave the scoops. All they were serving was whiskey punch in the sur in the sunshine. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep. So it's like, would you like a drink? Yes, I would like a drink. Well, you can have whiskey punch in the, in the Las Vegas sunshine. You're like, yes, yeah. could, but could you do something about the sky, sir? And they say no. I'm like, well, I guess I'll have the whiskey punch. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, well, well uh, eat the mic if you can. So I have, so I have the whiskey punch, and. Uh, then I end. Then I end up at a at an industrial pussy mill. Spark, <laughs> sparks coming out. Vats being emptied into molds. Yes. Yep. So wait. All right. So you get the Uber. And, so and I'm you're like, like, so you're I'm like, like you know like, what? All right, like, like, look, I, I've done my best at a meet and greet for which I was not advertised, and In yet the I did my best at. I need to reward myself. Brian or Dustin have already fucked off. Like, I need to reward myself. I'm gonna go to a Vegas titty bar. I need to go where everyone knows my name. Um, ba -da 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 -da. so making uh, your way so to do, industrial so way that. takes everything you and got. Then, uh, sometimes the when from, it, uh, from uh, the, the sun is shining, guys. your meat flaps well, are getting hot. <laughs> well, you know what the thing is? The last time I was no. in Vegas, which was, I guess, two or three years ago because, you know, pandemic. Yeah. Um, Uber didn't exist. You couldn't take an Uber because of the whole taxi, taxi lobby. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm like, oh, shit, I can Uber from anywhere to anywhere. So this becomes important later.
Yes. Uh, so I uh, Uber myself from Scoops Fest. Yep. To Industrial Road. Yep. Sure. And I in- I like uh, the agency that you ascribed ascribed to yourself, that you Ubered yourself. You I weren't Ubered. Ubered. Yourself. You Ubered you yourself. Catch an Uber. And I arrive at Industrial Road and I'm having a lovely evening. And I buy a couple of drinks. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm out. That's great. That's great been a time. that's been a lovely evening. Yep. It's it, it is the point of phrase. Been a great night. It's been a great night. Uh uh. Brett, can you Next please picture? swipe to the third picture? Third picture. <laughs> Your Honor. Oh, well, there is a confused will uh, may, in a may picture I? Yeah. with a, uh, a, a, a fuzzy topped. Uh, oh, don't show. Please don't show. You're not showing. Do your no, cameras. No, 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 this should just be. Yeah. So this is just. I so Wait, I come the, back no, to the this, strip. Yeah, no, no, so this should just strip. be me and Will. Is it not me yeah, and Will? Yes, I was getting yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So I come back to the strip, and Justin's like, "What is hit me up with like a WID?" Yep. And I'm used to a WID, but like not necessarily from no from, from this man. But you should have hit me with a hi with a bunch of eyes. Correct. So he hits me with a WID, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm just chilling." And he goes, "Right. Well, we're at the Orleans. We we've gone back. We're drinking." Yes. So I come back to the Orleans. Yep. And. We have a great photo, and we're and we're drinking. We have a and great we can, time. Can we, can we get the photo on? Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. You can cat? you can show that. You can show that photo. It's a great photo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was actually trying to figure out why we couldn't show it. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, I was just told we shouldn't see any of them. Jeff, if oh you can, no, no, if you no, can no, take... no, no, no. It's a better full on rule that nothing on Will's phone gets shared unless explicitly <laughs> we're asked getting for it. There, there, there. But we that's go. but that's but that's a good yeah. photo. Oh, it is just it just is. Yeah. It's very a very good drunk. Like this is sure. a great Aww. representation. Of me and Will while I, drinking. I, Justin, I worry you have thrush. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway. Oh, because of my white tongue? Yes. <laughs> but we look good. We we're do. We're having a time at the we're Orleans. Having, yes. We're having a good time at the signature yes. casino of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Orleans. Yep. It is. It well, is, that was a, a good time. story. I'm glad it landed. So, uh, so... Uh, this, is, this is about the time that uh, uh, your old boy's brain uh, uh, checks on out because I don't remember how our night ends, but I do know that I wake up in my bed with my pants on. Well, good on. for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is at least you woke up in your bed with your pants on. Okay. Uh, the second. Second thing is, uh, Brett. Next photo. Okay. Nobody knows. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay. All right. Somebody's in the champagne room, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that's what's happening Jesus. right now. <laughs> oh no, he's zooming. Oh, they're Wait, zooming. No, they're speeching and zooming. No. They're speeching and zooming. No. The two finger insult. <laughs> Order. Yep. Okay. Right. Do you remember this picture? No. Okay. <laughs> Eat the mic. Eat the mic. Come on. No, I don't. So I don't remember the picture. Uh, it was a great. I. So you guys headed off to bed. You had yes, a long yeah. day. You oh, no, Brian had headed off to bed like five hours before. Right. Whatever. Yeah, 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 like, uh, it been... was like, uh, I don't know. Pretty much the same time. <laughs> you, I, you've been scoopsifying. You've been working really hard. Yeah. I'm like, we had flown I'm in, that in day. Vegas. I'm going to take the most yep. of my opportunities to be in Vegas. So, do you um, go back to the same place? Do you know if you went back to the same place? You don't even know that place? much. You have to look at you have to look at the the the, the metadata. GPS. No, the only reason that I know it was the same place. <laughs> Your credit card called me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And they so the, say, what so up? The, so the next morning, it's like five o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, you know, a little bit tired. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> you mean yeah. you're still drunk from last night? Because it's five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I get this call, and I realize it's my credit card company. Hello, it's Doug from Credit. <laughs> <laughs> and and Wait, Doug's- come on, come on. Don't be fucked up. Good day, sir. It's Doug from Credit. Hope you're having a lovely afternoon in, oh dear, Las Vegas. Oh, no! So this is it. They've got no idea. They go, we have recorded an unusual amount of transactions at uh, a weird time in the UK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, at this point, are you more offended or proud? 
I mostly am interested. You're mostly, you're mostly learning. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, please, can you tell me uh, every transaction, where it was and how much it was for? <laughs> and this lovely, lovely lady on the end of the phone just reads me, you spent this here, then this here, then this here, then this here. Then your card got declined here, but then we reauthorized it here. So and you I'm... had to have called the credit card or hit a button on your app, and you're like, nope, this shit is legit. That's amazing! <laughs> and, so, and so the woman calls me, and so after all of this, she goes, so was that you, sir? And the unbelievable temptation to go, oh, I don't oh. know who the fuck that is. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> And just get all my money back, but no, uh, that was a uh, that was a real thing. So she called me, and my card was unblocked, and uh, and yeah, it was a it was a great night. Yes, it was. <laughs> Price next topic: Houston to Austin. Easy, right? Ah, well, I'm glad we got all that out of our system. Know, we have a yeah. simple those, story, just an will easy. Stories. Yeah, these <laughs> will stories. So that's uh, what happens in Vegas stays, in, stays Vegas. in Vegas. It visits all the UK the briefly, but Vegas. then comes back to Vegas. Oh my God! Yeah. So I'm like you. You left Vegas. Yeah. You you came down here to the great state of Texas, and uh, uh, first first came down to to where in Texas? So I came down to Houston. Oh. Yeah. So we have a problem. problem. Tomball. You're in Tom. I had a, uh, so, you know, I'm doing my sort of three year, I haven't seen anybody yep. Yep. reunion. Yeah. Uh, I've done NY, I've done Vegas, I've done, so I fly to Houston. Yep. I On... spend a lovely weekend with one of my best friends in Houston. Yep. And then I'm like, well, I've got to get from Houston to Austin. How are you going to, I mean, that's, that's a, that's a well, trip. I mean, never mind. I mean, come on, come on. This is a a, a trip he's planned out for a, a while now. For, right. for I mean, like you've had two and a half years to plan this trip. So I'm sure you've got a, a, a ironclad itinerary. He's like, also you know, like a member of the books. international yeah. community. He's aware that he's Texas down. is the size of the country Ukraine. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's not bring Ukraine into it. That <laughs> feels like that's a whole different topic. It is. Um, so I was like, right, I need to get from Houston to Houston where I'm staying with my friend mm -hmm. yep, to Austin where I'm going to come and do great night with my buds. Right. And this and, is how long ago? Ah, uh, it was on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, right, do I either fly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 20 minute flight. Wait, yeah. I mean, very so good. short. They oh, don't wait, even on, have. Hold on, hold on. But, uh, you're thinking about this six months ago when you're like booking all yeah. your shit. Yeah. yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, there's no point flying because flying from, because I did this last time. I flew, I did, although I did it the other way around. I did Austin to Houston. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I just rent a car. And I rented this like F off Ford 150. Yeah. And I just like Texas my way down the highway. Mm -hmm. Texas. Mm -hmm. Just yep. keep just keep going. You're making friends left and right. <laughs> like, yeah, keep going. <laughs> Calling it an like, F off 150 exactly. and then Texas yeah. your way. I was like, Cow well, Cowboy hat on backwards, putting Shaw yeah. into the window. You know, you're blending like, in with the natives by yeah. throwing your poop out the window. Yeah. And I remember, so it was 2019, where it's October. I remember the highlight of my my trip is that I took this F-150 through a Mackie D's drive-thru. Mackie D's? Yeah. And I was like... That's a Whole Foods. I would like a... <laughs> I would like an Egg McMuffin and some sort of hash brown and whatever version of, like, English tea you serve in the morning. So I remember like, doing this amazing... Can, 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 you, imagine, can you imagine, so like... This, wait, hold on. Wait, this is the last trip. This is not the trip that you're on now. This is the last trip. This is the last trip. Yeah. So... I so I get to last weekend. Yeah, sure. And I'm like, ah, I'll just rent a car and drive from Houston to Austin. How it's hard can it be? Very reasonable. Because it's it's very reasonable. three hours by road. Yeah, hmm. about that. Depending on how fast you drive. Yeah, it's three three and a half, depending on which suburb you're going from to which suburb. So I was like, well, seven miles. Do I want to get a flight? Do you? I mean, like, it seems like a man of wealth and taste might, might, might want to fly from Austin to Houston. But here's the thing. 
if I'm going to get a flight, yeah, I've got to get there an hour before the flight takes off. Oh, oh. Oh, because and he's I, not clear or TSA pre. That's right. Oh. And then I've got to check my baggage. Oh, because he's oh, got checked dude, baggage. Just, oh, no. Because I've got it, checked it, baggage. He's got I've steamer flown trunks. From, a, that's from right. England. And then when I get the other end, I've got to pick up my baggage. At the oh. So I think, you know what? I'll just do what I did last time. Yeah. But reverse. Yep. I'll just hire a, a, a Hertz or an Avis. We're yep. not sponsored by either, so I can say either one. Yep. Uh, and just drive it three hours. I can stop on the highway. Fun time. Round top. A little yeah. road trip. An American road trip. And then it gets to the morning that I have to fly. Yep. Yeah. So I have to go. Yeah. You have to get the fuck out. And I'm pretty hungover. What? What? That's surprising. Okay, so I mean, like you're on you're on a bit of an American bender. That's that's fair enough, right? Like I, I, you wake up and so you, you do and, and what you're... Americans do. So I so I no I do. Right, so you get you you, you you get you get on your you so get I on your on your app so I do and what you're like this do, which is yeah. If I'm anywhere in England, yeah, and I need to get anywhere else in England, you just open Uber. <laughs> the, the 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 car app. The car app. Yeah. yeah. So I open Uber. Wait, hold on, wait, wait. In England, like, do they do trains and shit? Yeah, we have trains. No, no, in no the but, Uber but on app. Uber. So no. that when, when you oh, okay. No. So uh, no no matter where you are in England, you're just like, oh, I'll get an Uber back there, and that's what you want to do going from Houston to Austin. So I decide that I I'm not gonna rent a car to go from Houston to no, Austin. Why would you? Yeah. And I, you're not gonna fly. Wait, you're not gonna I'm fly. Tired, and I'm not gonna fly because I've got to tired. Spaz out like checking gonna... all my bags and doing all this shit. I was God, like, what a hassle. I was like, I'm sure mega bus that I can just put my bags in the back of a car. Yeah, and someone will drive me from Houston to Austin. I mean, via Uber. Yeah, mega bus. <laughs> Via Uber. I mean, you I, can. I mean, uh, technically, you've said nothing incorrect so far. Right. <laughs> so, I, I, that, that was not meant to be a validating Finally, statement. Finally, someone's making sense. <laughs> no, so you're right. So I open my Uber app, and I'm at the address that I am in Houston, and I put in destination. I'd like to go to, because I'm a media asshole, um, Soho House in Austin. Of course. Yeah, sure. Eat the mic. Eat the mic. So I go to Soho House in Austin. On an industrial and, road. And they go, it's mm. South Congress something. Yes. Yeah. And I guess it's like $168. <laughs> That's it? It's actually not I, that I know. That's what pretty I Pretty reasonable. It's, Top like, ball. it's not from Houston. And I'm like, well, that's amazing. I'll yeah. pay 168 Actually, hold, hold on. Hold on. Now, now, now I'm over on this side. Yeah. This sounds like a great and deal. I, I, I think so, too. So I, so I pay. So I tap yes on the app. <laughs> you, you call the credit card company to confirm that this is really happening? <laughs> yeah. And uh, this guy in a Lincoln something or other turns up and says, hi, you will. Yes. Turns out it's Matthew McConaughey. He throws, <laughs> all right, all right, throws all, right. all my luggage in the back, then looks at his phone and goes, can I, can I just check this is the right destination? <laughs> and I go, yeah, I'm going to Sir, Sir Harrison in Austin. Oh. Well, I, now, at this point, if I understand the rules, the laws of Uber, he's not allowed to say no. He has to take you wherever you want to go. Or or he can cancel on his reputation. So Ooh, it's like, so that's, it would be a, a strike, a strike against him. Yeah. yeah. So I go, well, yes. Do you not, like, when I pressed the trip, did you think... Like, you were going to get $170 to, like, drive me down the street? I want to believe, wow. like, 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 like a in tumbleweed what, in, was going across the street. And the two like, of them in, just in what world are you like, oh, yes, my Uber, I'm just going to take $170 and not drive this guy that, that far? Yeah. So, uh, you, guys, you guys negotiate. What is the final settlement? So, we sit in the back, and he goes, oh, well, if I go to Austin... 
I've got to drive all the way back. Yep. And then yep. That's please tell me, please tell me you said the only sensible thing, which is, do you? And well, you made best friends. So I said, well, don't you just pick up a fare in Austin to Houston <laughs> and drive back? <laughs> <laughs> For the audio listeners, Brian has died. Yeah. Uh, uh, so how did he take it? I, 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 and he I, said, "You're I, not I, I, the And also, here, and also, you? by the way, I don't know if you're aware. Uh, uh, gas isn't exactly the cheapest it's ever been in America today. I mean, fuck Obama. <laughs> am I right? Uh, uh, am I right? So. He was like, no, we don't see the destination on the app before we accept Ouch. the fare. Ah. Yeah. So I'm like, well, A, that is a UX problem because if I'm a driver, I, I would want to know where I'm going to before I take the money. That's exactly what that driver in that moment wants to hear. Yeah, right. no, he wants to hear that it's that, UP, not that, a YP. That's a UX problem. I was like, that sounds like an uh, that sounds like a U problem, not a my problem. So 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 what do you so say? So I said, okay, well, I guess you've got to drive back. And he goes, yes. Sure. And he goes, well, then why don't you just double the price of the fare? Wait, you could do that? I mean, no, 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 no. I was no, like, this is Will can. making Will solution. Got it. I was okay. like, he's it using willpower. Me, if it costs me $180, yeah. Yeah. I can tip you on the app $180. $180. Oh, you are not going to do what I think you're about to do. And he goes, well, no, I don't really want to do that because then Uber takes like 25% of my $180. Yeah. Oh, now we're he negotiating. Goes, do you, Here we go. Do you have PayPal? And I'm like, yeah, I have PayPal. And he goes, well, if you could tip me that amount and then also 70 bucks for a tank of gas, then I'll take you. So that means that... Uh, the the trip from Houston to Austin costs you what? So so Uber tells me it's going to cost me one hundred and eighty dollars. Yes. Yeah, right. When you, I get you in, have offered to double it. Recently. I offered to double it. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, well, right. Seventy, 70, 70 yeah, for the yeah, gas, yeah, not enough. Seven, yeah, so three sixty. And he's like, if you tip me seventy on PayPal, yeah, and then give me an extra seventy. So we're up around five hundred. So we're at four fifty. Yeah. 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 And so I get in the back of the car. The yep. guy's already got my bags. Yep. And I was just like the story's gone so and, long. And he goes, pay. Okay, if you can, can we stop by my place so I can get uh, like a bottle of water? You, okay, I swear to God, if the next thing you say is like, Well, I'm gonna have to deduct some from your fee. <laughs> so I pay so I PayPal him. Yep. Uh, whatever, 450 minus 180. Right, 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 right. And I get to Austin. Yeah, there you go. Why was the part about him going to his house in there? Well, because he was like, I can't, he was like, if I'm going to go on this long a trip, yeah. I, need some water. I need some water. Is it? Do they, can you can they get not? stop along the way. There's yeah. three Buckies. Yeah, you didn't stop way. at a Buckies on the way? Yeah, you could have got to he see He should have been telling you about the Buckies. Well, he should have been. But I was asleep because uh, I was hungover. Okay, here's the real question. How many stars? Oh, no. No! Will. No, oh, you. Will. Will. How many stars, Will? How many stars, Will? He should have taken me for the amount of money. Wow. Oh, my God. If Uber gave me a number, he should have taken me for the number. So you gave him how many stars? Three. Oh! You're going to hell. Going yeah. To straight to hell. <laughs> you are going to fucking hell. All right, uh, Bryce, we got a game. Hey, yes, hello. We've got a game here. Uh, uh, I thought it would be fun to bring back one of our favorite games. It's called Apologizes for. Yeah. Uh, uh, Will Harris apologizes for three star rating. <laughs> so uh, I uh, have gone and found some headlines from the news today, and uh, we are going to, I've got a, I've blanked out a word or multiple words, and you're going to guess what the words filling in those blanks are, and whoever's closest as determined by science will get a point. Easy, right? Ready? Yep. 
All right. Uh, we are going to start with Justin on this one. Let's go. Uh, I've got it for you right here. Retailer Ulta Beauty apologizes for insensitive blank blank email. I love uh, that graphic. Thank you. Retailer Ulta Beauty apologizes for insensitive blank blank email. Oh, geez. I mean, be uh, beauty, I, I would say it's probably Asian. For insensitive Asian Asian email. email. All right. Uh Brian. Booty cancer. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, wait. Is it is it one? It's two blank? blanks. Two, two blanks. blanks. For insensitive blank blank email. Oh shit. Uh 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 uh, uh Asian looking. <laughs> okay, yeah, that does make it worse. Asian looking, he says, Brian. My answer is still booty cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harris. Retailer Ulta Beauty apologizes for insensitive blank blank email. It just rolls off. Trans exclusive. Ah, trans. Uh, ex, do you mean exclusionary? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's not going to be exclusive. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, like maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> also, I I don't know if trans exclusive is something that like people who exclusively tra like like travel from New York to London call themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have said transatlantic. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, uh, we've got your answers here. Justin says Asian looking. Brian yeah. says booty cancer. <laughs> yeah. Harris says trans exclusion. No, when you say it that way, it doesn't sound so classic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because by the way, booty you have, cancer. You have, you have to do the like, 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 like uh, 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 a rounded up uh, 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 symbol that Brian was doing above his head. You, on you have to do the three orange whips. You have to do yeah. the uh, whop, booty whop, cancer. Whop, whop. Yep. And well, he said trans exclusionary. We were looking for retailer Ulta Beauty apologizes for insensitive Kate Spade email. Oh man, I'd hate to be science right about now. Yeah, right. Which one is closest? Well, I know. You know what's closest is that Kate Spade is based in London. Ah, uh, but was she Asian? Also, what up with that booty? <laughs> We should uh, all stop talking and let <laughs> science go. Oh, this is an easy one. Easy one here. Uh, booty cancer gets the point. Hey, Did she actually have booty what was? Cancer? No, it didn't. Did, didn't she kill herself? Uh, oh. Yes, they yeah. said uh, let's hang out with Kate Spade. Oh, ah! so, so we don't want to be doing that. Yeah. yeah, that's a point for Brian. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Brian. yeah. 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 All right, round two. I guess what, because he was the only one that involved death, right? Yeah, it was a pretty lethal one, booty cancer. It? Yeah, booty cancer. <laughs> okay, Christ. we could just move on. <laughs> Wait, can we move <laughs> on? Fine. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Kate Spade made what? What kind of fashion? Just kidding. All right, go ahead. Move. <laughs> Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Yep. Denver is the latest city to apologize for its history of blank, blank, blank. Three blanks in this one. Mm. Denver is the latest city to apologize for its history of blank, blank, blank. Racially insensitive tweets. All right, racially insensitive tweets. <laughs> yeah, you ever go to the official Denver Twitter account? Hot takes. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it, 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 they actually have a big uh, a memorial downtown to the racially insensitive tweets that yep. they've made. It's an interactive uh, thing. You can swipe through it. You learn a lot. Yeah, but they're fucked up. But they're pretty you fucked learn, up. You learn a bit about yourself. You do. You do. And then you take a selfie and you say, are you a Denver-based <laughs> racially insensitive <laughs> tweet? If so, which kind? That's that, that sounds like Watchmen. <laughs> Basically. It's mostly like Watchmen. All right. Will Harris, Denver is the latest city to apologize for its history of blank, blank, blank. Just terrible jokes. Ooh. It's true. Ooh. Remember they put that one in the Constitution of yep. Denver? Yep. Yo, what up? Uh, they, they put a, uh, a Jeff Kanata in Denver, and that's just that just shakes it all up. It does. Uh, uh, I believe that uh, Denver is the latest city to apologize for its history of uh, Broncos playoff games. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Now, are they are they generally good or bad playoff games? They suck shit. Guys. Well, that's stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. I mean, he's not wrong. That's right. All right, we've got our answers here. Brian said racially insensitive tweets. Will said just terrible jokes. And Justin said Broncos playoff games. Mm. We were looking for... 
Denver is the latest city to apologize for its history of anti-Chinese racism. That's another Brian poll. Uh, because of the racism. I should have went with my first answer on my second answer. What's that? Asian looking. Oh, my first one was Asian looking. And, yeah. And and so oh, maybe I'm just uh, one ahead. You are. So on my you're next like one, a mentalist. So now yeah. you just got to be one behind. So on my next one, I okay. got to be one ahead of the one I think this one is. No, that tracks. That tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. That'll work well. Basically. Yeah. Yep. All right, what well, happened in Denver? Did they make Asian people play for the Broncos? Uh, they had a. It, it was from the 1800s. They had yeah. a bad. Uh... Mostly a joke. I was hoping for a laugh. And oh. said we got oh. a real answer. All right, just got a little <laughs> bit of a history lesson. Yeah, turns out I wasn't funny. Will Harris, I learned that. <laughs> We're gonna go to you here. Uh, here we go. Jeff, go. Oh no! Oh, I gave up the answer. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I made a hold whole on. thing. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce Neshkov Castillo apologizes for what? Jeff Go. Oh no! <laughs> Jeff Go. <laughs> I'm using some new technology this week, and I haven't figured it all out just yet. <laughs> So we did flash the answer on screen briefly. Hopefully nobody was paying attention. I was not. No, were no, you? no, were you? no. I was paying I was a real Brundle Are you fly lying over well? here. I was looking right at it. Yeah. Why do you always got to make it bigger? Uh, well, let's just do this anyway. Why don't we? Uh, Will Harris, Jeff Goldblum apologizes for his blank, blank, blank. New Apple TV <laughs> series. Oh, he apologizes for the new Apple TV series. Oh. Now, what's the series about? Yeah, what, you, what, what is this new Apple TV series about? You've seen it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I... He tries to install gutters, but mainly just asks the people who lives there. <laughs> he, show, he shows people four photos in consecutive order <laughs> on, his, on his cell phone. Uh, yeah, Apple TV series. Okay. Got gotcha. you. Apple TV series. Justin. Uh, Jeff Goldblum apologizes for his uh, 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 wry, uh, witty smile. Uh, <laughs> That's perfect. The right way to smile. Just watch greatnight.com, please, to watch that <laughs> smile. <laughs> Brian. Uh, his his uh, uh, <clears throat> character's problematic history. Oh, which mm. character is that? The collector. Just no, collect wait. That's his brother. What? But are you thinking Jurassic Park? No. I mean the one from Thor from Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. Not well, that's not Jeff Goldblum. No. He's the game master. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Collector. Is, collector is, his brother! Yeah, you yeah. need to also eat the mic. Why is nobody eating the fucking <laughs> mic? What? Jesus you, Christ. Listen, we're good. We we're do good, a good. fucking podcast. All right, we've got three answers What's here. happening? We've got three answers here. Brian said uh, Jeff Goldblum apologizes for his, char his character's problematic history. Yep. Will said the his new Apple TV series. And Justin said his wry, witty smile. <laughs> I feel bad for whichever one of us gets it. <laughs> uh, in fact, if you want a little bit of info about this, uh, Jeff Goldblum said, I'm sorry oh. for better or worse. I apologize profusely or you're welcome. Oh, I'm, feel, like I'm some... feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right. All right. We were looking for Jeff Goldblum apologizes for his most iconic scene. The one where he's watching you poop. No, the one that, where, he's where he's leaning, the shirtless leaning, the shirtless oh, leaning. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah. Jurassic Park. He yeah. apologized. I apologized for it. Anyway, I'd be like, come on. He's like, <laughs> I mean, mm. yeah. I'm sorry is a weird way to pronounce the words. You're welcome. All right, I'm gonna throw this into the science machine. Shunk. <laughs> Shunk. Oh, that's a Justin Poi! Hey! Congratulations for that beautiful, witty smile. All right, just a few more here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're going to start with Justin on this one. Let's go. USFAA apologizes for failing to alert Capitol Police over blank blank. Ooh. The USFAA apologizes for failing to alert P Capitol Police over blank blank. Gay blimp. A gay blimp. Yeah. It says. The blimp is gay? Yeah. And it's not even June. Wow. Yeah. I didn't wow. know that worked that way. I mean, like, uh, yeah, it was early. Okay. It That's was why too they were early weren't... for Pride. It was very pioneering. 
No, I mean, no. They were like, it was like it was supposed to be there for Pride. It wasn't. It was they ordered it early. They oh. accidentally hit the button, and so sure. they apologize. And they yeah. keep pushing Pride back. Sometimes it's in August now. Like you what the never fuck? know, man. It's all over the fucking map. I I I side with the FAA here. It's like Easter. It's like, well, when did Jesus get up or not? Like, yeah, nobody really knows. We yeah. don't know. Not- but I'm gonna call him a gay blimp. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I think it's that. And, and, and on the third day, he's risen. I think it's that that rabid uh, fox that was running around the Capitol steps. Oh, the FAA is, is the Furry Animal Association. <laughs> That's right. I went there. Was it Yiffin? Uh, uh, I don't know what that means, sir. <laughs> well, I know. I'm going to say U.S. FAA apologizes for failing to alert Capitol Police over... 9/11. It <laughs> <laughs> was a different Mr. 9/11. <laughs> I mean, I mean, long overdue. Yeah. If you're gonna, <laughs> see, it's like the least you could do was apologize. Let's finally <laughs> apologize. Let's finally apologize. Yeah, come on, FAA. We should have picked it up. It was. <laughs> 9/11 also the single largest loss of life of British citizens at one time. <laughs> Okay. I mean, this, is just a, this is just a smile. These are minute. just science, fun facts science, about 9 11. Just science. <laughs> but can science give us the answer? Uh, let's see one other thing here. The FAA said we did not provide advance notification of this oh. event to the U.S. Capitol Police. We deeply regret we contributed to a precautionary evacuation of the Capitol complex and apologize for the disruption and fear experienced by those who work there. We were looking for the is this box. U.S. FAA apologizes for. Failing to alert Capitol Police over parachute jump. Oh. Commonly referred to as... The rabbit Fox. As... A gay blimp. Hey! <laughs> That's a Justin Poy. Mm. All right, just a couple more here. <laughs> Brett, what are our scores? Just like, uh, just like on the dating connection or the love connection... We got a score of two and two for uh, Justin and Brian. Will, you're in the toilet, bro. Oh, man. Well, you got to bring it back. Don't worry. This is our nil. Nil is what you guys call it over there, right? You have you have Zed points. You have Zed points. <laughs> <laughs> You've got right. aluminum next, points. Next question. Next question, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we're starting with you on this one. Ready. Pilot in failed Arizona plane swap stunt apologizes for blank blank. The pilot in failed Arizona plane swap stunt apologizes for blank blank. Scaring children. <laughs> Scare? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm very scary, sorry though. that I died. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Scary oh, children. Yeah. That is, that is scary, I guess. Will? Pilot in failed Arizona plane swap stunt Mm -hmm. apologizes for not unlocking the child lock. For not undoing the child lock. Okay, we'll figure out. It's a lot of words. That's fine. For whoopsie doodle. (laughs) (laughs) Pilot in failed Arizona plane swap stunt apologizes for... Being dope. <laughs> <laughs> For being dope. Being dope. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's just like, I mean, like, fuck, dude. Like, I accidentally crashed two planes. <laughs> Sorry for I, party rocket. It's like, it's like, how hard is it to crash one plane? Yeah. That's pretty hard. Guess what, motherfucker? I crashed two, two, two planes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Brian said scaring children. Will said not unlocking the child lock. And Justin said unlocking the child lock for being too dope. All right, well, (laughs) mine doesn't sound so dope now. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we were looking for the pilot. uh, Unfailed Arizona plane swap stunt apologizes for ignoring FAA. About the rabid fox. Sounds like about or the gay blimp. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, I am going to have to put this one in the science machine here very, oh, okay. very quickly. Just zoop. Ian Dope, which is more, is it dope to ignore the FAA? Uh, yeah, I think so. Or is there a, I made the children. personal decision to move forward with the plane swap. I regret not sharing this information with my team and those who supported me, wrote the pilot Atkins while apologizing for this. All right. Ding, 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 ding. All right. I didn't say all right before it said it was done. We're all good here. The point goes to what Brian. A weird continuity error. Brian. Brian. Uh, this was, you probably had seen this. This was the Red Bull uh, plane swap stunt from a few weeks ago. One of, one of the pilots got into the other plane. He didn't. The other one didn't. And they crashed into the Arizona desert. Uh, they're fine. They're, Nobody, they're alive. Everybody's yeah. alive. But uh, the FAA apparently that day said, don't do this. And For he said, I'm not, I'm not going to tell anybody that they told Yo, you. Yo, you hear about like these dead bodies showing up in Vegas? What? Because the water's getting too low. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More and more bodies are showing up. Yeah, in the they're, they're like, buckle up for America's new hot reality show. Can you imagine how horny all the murder, the murder podcasts are? <laughs> I like the mourner podcast. The mourner <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. Bom, bom. <laughs> okay. Baum, baum. Okay. No, uh, just do it in law and order. I, yeah, I was, I was yeah. there for it. Yeah. Which is not CSI. No. It's We're good. really sharp tonight. All right, going into our final round here. Justin's got two points. Brian's got three. Will has got zero points. Of course, this is our four-point round. Yep. And so it's still anybody's game. All right. Anybody's game. Will, we're going to start with you because you are in the last place. Here we go. EasyJet apologizes for blank, blank ad post. EasyJet apologizes Easy. for blank, blank ad post. So EasyJet, based out of the UK. Yep. Sure. Okay. Yep. That's why you, you're the expert. Yep. Famously known for being orange. Just Uber. They're orange. Uh, EasyJet apologizes for... What would be something really embarrassing in the UK? Because this is probably a UK controversy. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's not a lot in the UK that would be controversial. Spilling be tea? Controversial yeah. What, would, it, would it maybe be uh, eating Mike? It'll be uh, Easy Chat apologizes for um, splitting hairs. No, it it would be something sexist. So sexist is number one. Yeah. What what are some sexist things we're all thinking of? Yep. Uh, Will, you out. go first. Will? Uh, apologizes for sexist boarding. Oh my god! <laughs> sexist boarding. Sexist boarding. It's like yeah. you want you want a board. Hello, everybody. What? Welcome to Easy What's Chat. I'll be on this plane. My name is Chad. You're going to like give me all my bros up front. All the bros right up front. And all the ladies, you can just yeah. sit the fuck back there, like my yeah. ex girlfriend mm -hmm. Denise. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. we 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 are boarding bros before hoes. <laughs> that is bros before hoes. That is literally what Easy Jet would do. So I'm going to say uh, Easy Jet apologizes for bros before hoes policy. All right, bros before po hose policy ad post. Okay. Yep. There you go. Uh, Justin, we're going to go to you. Oh, uh, uh, EasyJet has apologized for their uh, 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 racially insensitive ad post. <clears throat> oh, okay, racially insensitive. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe it's their sleazy slogan ad post. What's, what's oh. easy? Take it sleazy. Take it, yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. it sleazy. We're really Take easy. Yeah. yeah. Just like Emily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I would imagine. Yeah. No, yeah. that would be bad. Because we all know they would fucking apologize. Emily. Well, I mean, uh, that's probably what the advertisers Just would fucking think. give hey, it up. <laughs> what does science say? Okay. Uh, your boop, answers. Boop. Justin said that EasyJet apologized for their racially insensitive ad yeah. post. Uh, Brian says it was for their sleazy ad post. Mostly yep. about Emily. Uh, should I put sleazy Emily? Maybe on, yeah. the, on the paper. Okay, uh, I do get it. Here we go. Edge Will says uh, bros before hoes policy ad post. There we go. All right. Fantastic answers. What we were actually looking for was... <laughs> EasyJet apologizes for a Holocaust themed oh, ad post. Oh my So God. glad that... So let's take a quick look here. Nope. 
Uh, <laughs> no. Nope. Easy Jet posted on Twitter from iPhone. Uh, Can said, we just show Will's photos? <laughs> it said, uh, well, you know what? I'm not even going to show the post first. I'm not going to show you the caption. You just take a look at this. Oh, no, wow. no, 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 no. Oh, my okay. God. So uh, it's somebody with a, a, a tattoo, a tattoo yep. on their forearm that yes. looks like the Holocaust tattoo. Why would you Which, think that, Justin? Obviously, this is their f their the flight number of their first flight on EasyJet. Oh, <laughs> my God. And you say you never forget your first flight. Okay. Wow. All right. I'd hate to be science right now. Go science. Oh, shit. I forgot I had to think of it. All right. I'm going to have to put it in the machine. Shh. All right, four times points. This is for the game. Science says, shh. Rachel Ian sets it in. Justin hey! gets the vote. Hey! Good job, boys. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yes. Doctor, doctor. Congrats to Justin on the game. Hey, uh, well, where should people suggest games? Uh, you can send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. You can send in games, ideas for games, suggestions. Maybe if you've got an idea for a punishment, a, a high thought, email, comment, question, all that good stuff, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Check the show notes. Heck yeah. Uh, Brett, please tell me we learned something today we learned we learned that you should always bet on black yes i've learned that yep uh, wesley learned... snipes tried to teach us the what just move on okay i've learned that uh i am more imposing than you justin true facts yeah uh will you uh you sir tell a great amount of stories some of them you don't even remember you know like a girl that's a hero and Bryce is the best computer ever. Can we get one more big round of applause for Will Ladies Harris? Yes, yeah, live Will Harris! Harris. The only man brave enough to Uber through Kerrville. <laughs> Locals only. Uh, uh, everybody go ahead and head on over to patreon.com slash great night. Get your bonus content while you can. Brian. Yes. It's been a great night. Yeah, dude. Uh, diamonds in the sky, you beautiful people. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a past the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Oh, fuck, man. No, no, I, I was totally good. I was going to be fuck there at shit. the end. Fuck, 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 fuck,